Dad and I are back here at the off-grid property and we will be continuing the picnic table build today. We should get most of the rest of it done. Uh, as you can tell, this is not my normal outfit. I actually preached this morning at a church just a few miles up the road, so it worked out perfectly to come here after church. But it's time to get to work, so let's fix this. That's better. Let's get to work. Well, I'm finally glad to get down here and be working on the picnic table area. It's been at least a month. Uh, Heather's car broke down, so we were down to just my truck for a couple of weeks. And then it just rained and rained and rained. Finally, the weather got cleared enough, the schedule got cleared enough to where I could come down here and work on it today. So, hoping to move things along pretty quickly. All right, got the wood moved over here and uh, time to start putting everything together. My daughter, Anna Kate, wanted me to do this. She thought it would be silly. So whenever I do something strong, I go like this. All right, dad's ready to keep on going, but before we do, I wanna show you my quick pro tip. 99 cents, spring loaded pencil returner thing. I don't even know what it's called, but do your mark, just drop it. it stays right with you. How cool is that? It's a little things, I swear. Okay, the four posts are in. We have the cross braces, is that what they're called? I don't know. Yep. Um, in and we're trying to decide what to do. We think we have it figured out. The two by fours will sit on top of the inside two by six here. Then it'll sit on top of the two by six here, but it'll be butted up against the outside one over there. And my math is, wasn't 100% accurate, but close enough to where we can make it work. So it's a little bit wider on the far end than this end, but I think we're gonna be able to get it work just fine. So we're gonna get the two by fours in and then the uh, one by twos and we'll call it a day. Okay, I think we finally got the uh, math figured out for everything. They don't teach you math in seminary, but I had a little bit in undergrad. So after a few measurements wrong, we think we got it right. So we have... All right, so it is 27 and a half. We checked twice. So I've got 15 marks here, but we're gonna mark 27 and a half and then we're gonna put a big no right here so we know not to do that then all I gotta do is take my speed square line it up close enough keep on going down use your left elbow and put pressure to hold it down beautiful oh perfect good job I got you now you're golden now okay Remember now, we're not putting it, it's not like you're building a second story. Right, yeah. So, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, grip on your ankle. He's trying to trip me. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, we have the rafters in place. Looking good. We even have one spare two by four. What we're doing is I'm taking these strips of one by two and running them perpendicular the other way. And I don't know yet the size of the metal sheets that will be the roof for this. So I don't know how long to make it, but what we're doing is we're just leaving almost two feet or so on each end. 
And that way, whenever I have the actual size, I can just trim down the edges to length and that should make installing the roof a lot easier. Okay, about to put the final boards in place, the one by two. And we had to do some math to figure this out. So we have enough for eight rows across, which gives seven equal parts, the gaps between each row. So we have a 12 foot span that's 144 inches divided by seven gives you 20 and a half inches on center or so between each part. So, <coughs> Dad, you ready to go home yet? Not yet, almost done. <laughs> He's getting there. So we're gonna measure 20 and a half inches across uh, six times and we still have to do the end cap up there. And uh, this should only take 10 minutes or so, right? I think, yeah. just drilling in and then we're packing up. All right, it's about 3.30 and we finished screwing the uh, top part down. Final part is just uh, installing the actual metal roofing panels. I think we got it looking pretty good. Well, what do you think? He looks pretty great. Get some gravel down here eventually, but uh, it's looking nice and symmetrical. As good as a pastor from West Tennessee could ask for, I suppose. Like I said before, we have several feet on each end, and that'll get trimmed depending on the size of the metal roofing panels that we get. But it'll at least come out at least six inches or so. Yeah, looking great. Next time I come out here, hopefully in the next week or so, it'll all be done. Tell me you've been cutting down firewood without telling me you've been cutting up firewood. That's disgusting.